Hello and welcome to Eiford Manor. We're standing in front of Harold Pito's wonderful cloister built in 1914, but the history of Eiford goes right back to pre-Doomsday. Originally an industrial centre for wool production and cloth, this became a Georgian terraced garden around a smart residence. And then Harold Pito came and did a magnificent job of creating a, 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 a paradise, you might say, an international mix of different styles. And in it, he placed this jewel of a building. Originally built without a foundation on Fuller's Earth, Pito's cloister has been on quite a journey in its short 100 year history. Back in the 1980s, a protective engineering solution was undertaken to dig out the back of the cloister, which was being pushed over by the hillside. This succeeded, but in 2014, minimal intervention was needed to secure a wall, which was cracking badly. Unfortunately, this was unsuccessful, and in 2018, an exceptionally dry summer caused rapid shrinking of the Fuller's Earth layer and subsidence. John Mann, structural engineer at Mann Williams, advised immediate stabilization through scaffolding and further investigation. The movement continued, and in 2019, the outcome was a need to underpin the dwarf walls and 40% of the outer walls. And it was quite a job. Everything from this column all the way around to this corner over here had to be removed under the arches which of course required the arches to be pinned with steels off a foundation placed out into the uh, garth. And then once this was done and the foundation placed underneath a meter deep, these stones, having been numbered, were meticulously returned to their original positions using lime mortars made specially to match the originals used by Pito. The marble columns were appropriately sized and replaced and the whole thing was sat back down onto its stones. Then it was time to restore the cosmetic aspects, the lime pointing, the lime washes, selected using a colour similar to that which Peter used originally and which was redolent of the Mediterranean. Meticulous work funded by the NFU, overseen by Man Williams and undertaken by nearly 30 different specialists under the banner of Corbel, a specialist building firm from Taunton, was completed over a seven month period. The cloister has been much loved as a venue for events of all kinds over the years, but after a difficult year, perhaps it is its return, as Harold Pito intended originally, to being a haunt of ancient peace that is most important. And I cannot tell you how appreciative we are of the engineers, the master craftsmen, the artistry that's been poured into this building by many people over many months to restore the finishes that you see over a 21st century solution to the structural challenges.